Bob, were you pleased with, with the team's effort tonight overall? Yeah, I was extremely pleased. I think uh, uh, we, we know this is a, the hottest team in the league. And, uh, uh, you know, there was a lot of emotion in this game and there was, a, uh, um, you know, a lot on the line. And, and we wanted to make sure that we went out and, and honored Patty in the best way we could. And that was by playing hard as a team. And um, I think we did that. I think that, uh, you know, they, they came, they pushed, they swarmed us for a bit. We responded. We had chances to win this hockey game, uh, um, you know, especially in overtime. Both teams had chances. So, uh, you know, it was a hard fought game and, and uh, we found a way to get a point and, and uh, you know, and I think we're you know, starting to get things back on track. There's some work to do, but to, all in all, uh, um, you know, the game was was something bigger than just about the point or, you know, you know, the win. It was just a, it was a great night to be a part of. The loss aside, what are you going to take away, you think, from the last 24 hours and the next, you know, 5, 10, 20 years from now? You know, seeing Patty today, um, from from the time we had a team meeting in the morning till till right now, um, you know, he got very emotional this morning. Um, you know, I've had some personal conversations with him throughout the day. Uh, we made a little presentation before the game and recapped his career and, and had some pretty cool moments. Um, you know, just now as we came into the uh, um, dressing room after Patty was done some media. Um, you know, we, we stood up and everybody stayed in their, in their hockey gear. And when we gave him a standing ovation and Patty, you know, in, in, uh, in tears and emotional and, and uh, um, talking about, you know, how much his teammates have meant to him over the years and that he couldn't get to that point without a lot of great people surrounding him. And uh, um, it was just, it was really a, a touching, a touching uh, um, moment. And uh, I think we all, uh, um, you know, we we're all just obviously, obviously honored to be a part of it. Shang. Well, what can you say about just the atmosphere here, uh, here today, uh, the fans? Uh, what did you think of all of that part of it? That was probably the most fun uh, game to be in all year. I think that, uh, um, you know, it's always exciting coming in this building and they do such a good job. And, uh, um, you know, the, the patty night, um, you know, just everything that happened throughout the day. And like I just recapped in, in, in Patty's moments and, uh, you know, and playing well and just there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of, an, um, you know, adrenaline pumping for our guys and, and they were inspired. I thought they played inspired and, and uh, you know, that was the message. It's just, you, you know, it's easy. It should be easy to be inspired tonight uh, um, and, and just take a page out of Patty's book, what he's done every day for the last you know, a couple decades plus and, and, and what he's given to this game. And, uh, um, you know, let's, let's, let's come together and, and, and play hard for, you know, um, the, the, his legacy. And speaking of a guy who looked like he had a lot of jump today, uh, Noah Greger, what can you say about his game? And have you liked his kind of uh, him going to the wing there? You know, it's more of a straight line game for him there. Yeah, I, I do like him on the wing. I think that uh, he, he's adjusted his game a little bit. And, you know, at the beginning of the year, he came out of camp as a centerman. And, uh, you know, then he went to Barracuda and we, we let him play wing there for a while to try and, you know, find his game. And, and, and it looks like he has. He's, he was their best player many nights down there. Uh, and that's what development's all about. It's, it's you, you know, tough to develop a guy up here if you're not going to, uh, you know, play him. And, and Noah plays uh, well with Cooch and Kaner. And I think that, you know, his defensive, um, you know, his details of his game, that was really what he needed to work on when he went down. It looks like he has. And I think what he does is really allow us to, to throw some speed on that top line, um, but also spread some of our depth out. And you saw Gambrell playing with uh, uh, Timo and LeBanc, and they had a good night. So, um, you know, I like him in that spot right now. And, you know, as a young, young guy, he's just got to keep earning it and, and, and keep getting better every day. Curtis. Sorry about that, Bob. Um, Bob, is this just kind of, the, even though you didn't get the two points, just one of those once in a lifetime type of nights? Absolutely. I think that, uh, you know, I mentioned this earlier that the game was, uh, you know, there was something bigger on the line than the two points, but, you know, two points for our team in the position we are, are huge. Um, but uh, it would have been such a perfect night to see, you know, Patty, he had, he had some jump and he had a breakaway during the game. He had a, you know, obviously out in a shootout, he had some overtime. Um, it would have been nice to see him, uh, you know, put one in and it would, it would have been the perfect story, but uh, um, I think everything went as planned and, and uh, you know, I'm happy with the team's effort and that's, that's a, a highly, highly skilled team and, and the hottest team in the NHL and, and maybe the number one team in the NHL. Um, so it was, you know, we'll, we'll take that point and it could have easily been two and uh, um, you know, and move on. How, uh, whose idea was it to uh, put together the video and just how special was that moment for everyone? 
Well, you know, I usually uh, in the room in the morning uh, or sorry, before the game, I, I do my five on five sort of presentation in the morning. Um, and, and, and then we get on for pregame skate at nighttime. What I do is, is, is reminders. And, and instead of, uh, you know, I was just thinking all day in the morning, I said to our staff, I said, you know, instead of reminding these guys the way we need to play against Vegas, let's, uh, let's spend the whole night talking about Patty and, and reminding some of these guys that maybe don't know certain things about his career. And we had some funny things in there and we had some messages from past players and um, we built a sort of a highlight tape of his 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500th goal. And, um, yeah, it was just a really cool moment. And, uh, you know, I just thought that uh, everybody, uh, it was just, it was perfect for the, uh, for the day. Let's go, Marco. Bob, considering the, the magnitude and the historic night, uh, was it tough for you to keep your own emotions in check throughout the day and, to the game time and how are you feeling now emotionally after this? You know, it spent a little bit drained. Um, it's, it was fun. I, I will say this and, and, you know, it was the most fun game of this year to be part of. And, uh, and I enjoyed every second of it. I mean, um, you know, I was asking Patty for things, you know, getting things signed and, you know, my son was calling and, he wanted to, he already had his name put on uh, Patty's sweatshirt that we wore this morning. And so it's a big deal. And uh, just to be a part of it. And, you know, I found myself, you know, getting a little uh, uh, teary eyed and choked up when Patty started crying on the ice and looking up at his family in the stands. And, uh, you know, I, I played against this guy. I've known him for a lot of years and as, as a competitor and competing against him and now coaching, uh, coaching with him. And, uh, um, you know, it's just, you, it's really, really cool to be a part of. It's an honor, um, you know, and I love that some of our young guys that are the future of this organization got to be a part of it and witness that. And it's, uh, it's an important memory these guys are going to take on for the rest of their lives. All right. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that.